It's back. It's time for the tea with Jamie Lee. And of course, I had to bring in the big guns for this one because they are a package deal. It's buy one, get one free, Nyana. Mm-hmm. It's the Kim Lee and the Dylan Majavi. How are you guys doing? Said, I'll be good. Someone said it's Dylan Lee. Dylan Lee. Combine, combine it. it. No, I don't good. think so. Eh? <laughs> it's not I was just giving you even. I'm giving you the I sometimes I so. find that people can't even differentiate between we the two do. of you. People are like, oh, Kim, where's Dylan? Dylan, where's Kim? Definitely. You get that a yeah, lot? We, we do. do. We do. No, we do. We we basically sync like that. There's days that we wear the same clothes or the same color clothes and we didn't even plan it. I love that. I was thinking because we're together all the time. So if the one is without the other, it's like something is missing. Mm. You know what I mean? So I think that's why people are just like, if they see me, they'll be like, where's Dylan? They see Dylan, they're like, where's Kim? You guys are the proper hype squad. Do you guys ever argue? I've never asked you this. Do you ever argue or have like a little <laughs> bit of a, a moment <laughs> no. where you're like, <laughs> we do, but you know, there's something I always yeah. say, no? this has been the best relationship I've ever been in. Mm, because communication yes <laughs> if anything we know that we can't stop sit with each other because we need to work together and the only way it's going to work out is if we authentic and also at the same time we work good together mm. you know what i mean so the mere fact that we work good together we know what we need to do that's why we communicate and i think that's why it's been working for the longest of time but now how do you navigate like your professional relationship and also your personal relationship because this often mm. often comes together you know what i mean because yeah. you guys both have been dating already and sometimes i know i see your partners being like just taking the back step because yes. this connection is genuine mm. it's not made up you guys do love each other sometimes yes. people are like are they dating is, the is that oh, the tea yes, that is oh. a good thing that you said that I, <laughs> I always <laughs> just say, get on that tea there <laughs> i always say there's a reason why this works out and it's probably because mm. dylan is gay <laughs> and i think dylan you're gay <laughs> how dare i the horse and i'm breaking out there i <laughs> I will never forget. <laughs> I actually need to tell the story. So once, yeah. Dylan, we were. Did you go with us? We went to. It was last year. Uh-huh. It was in KZN. Okay, we went on a immersion somewhere. Okay. We were at, in Caledon, I think. We were in Caledon, mm-hmm. and this lady was obsessed with Dylan. Like she was writing her vows. Like she was, oh my word, please can you hook me up with my friend? I'm like, I'm not gonna be the one to do this, but I want to. And she uh. just did not get it. Didn't, and you know, Dylan, Dylan's mm. like this person. Yeah. Let me, yes. can I hear what you're saying? Oh, and look he, in your eyes and be like, yes. Oh. He sincere. listens yeah. sincere. And this lady was so in love. And I'm like, I, I don't wanna tell her. I don't wanna tell her. How did that night end? Tears are not broken. For her, not for, for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Dylan does it's a lot. I, a look, lot I don't, I don't purposefully do it. Who I don't, don't even it. know that Dylan is gay. He doesn't give off normal, I don't want to say normal gay energy, but he's very masculine mm. also, if you know what I mean when, with the way he comes. But I think it's also, I almost give the ladies what they, they desire and, and what they <laughs> want. <laughs> listen here, listen here. Take some notes <laughs> from this gay man. Take some notes. <laughs> <laughs> he's giving <laughs> the ladies what they want. Yes. And then he's breaking their hearts. So what is he actually doing for the ladies? The lady was crying. I know. I am showing them what it is that they need to communicate to their partners. You're giving me teeks right now. Yes. With a... Oh, yeah. you need to tell them. <laughs> 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 I was actually yeah. thinking of both of you last week uh, when I saw Alicia Keys and Asha perform because there were so many memes online like be careful of the work husband you know how Asha was at the back yes. and just like I was oh. like grinding it was giving me this energy no, like no, see, don't be worried about that that work husband this is the work husband no, everybody but you don't need to worry about me because <laughs> I'm gay Asha is not gay that is, that, that is the difference between that that is the difference I, that's, yes mm, yeah. that's mm. the dynamics that changes I feel that changes because like Kim said, it's the fact that the Lord has like grace us to be working so long together. <laughs> that this is why it works. Yes. Mm. It's because, because the gay. Lord knew. Mm. Did Can you imagine you? Dylan was a guy? Look at Dylan. <laughs> He's like <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> Look at Dylan. So imagine uh, 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 there would have been a bit of like uh, <laughs> the switch but, up. But <laughs> the switch up would have been switching it up. <laughs> exactly. Before it even started. Mm. But um on, on the case of, of, of Usher and Alicia, I didn't get that, eh? And I was I was offline for like the past couple of weeks. So I did not see the Super Bowl. I didn't see what took place. So why action. are you on the team no, even? I need no. to find out why you're on the team because the whole point I of the team <laughs> is to let us know what's happening on social media. I'm joking. I'm joking. So Sorry, you've been I'm offline. Okay. You were offline? Yes, yes. I feel like I just needed to disconnect because there's a lot of, you know, um, things that go on that, that, that distracts you from what you need to actually pursue and what you need to do. So I think I took a mental break, given the fact that I was dealing with a family um, um, issue. Um, so it was okay. 
I didn't feel the need to go back on. And yes, I heard it from various people about did you watch the Super Bowl? Did you see Alicia Keys that tried to hit the note, but she didn't hit the note and whatever? But she was like, but she beat, but she beat. You see yeah, the no, people. You saw, yes, yeah, I still, yeah. I still heard, but it wasn't the thing of like, oh, let me go see. Oh, let me go find out. Mm. You know, but it was more at me at peace and being like, no, man, it's all right. I don't need to consume. I see the <laughs> notifications there piling up, and I'm like, oh. So I right, just deal with what I need to deal with, and that was okay. And how often do you like to take a bit of a social media break? I, I think this was the longest. This was the longest so far because I think what I was dealing with was more deeper, mm-hmm. you know, and I needed to focus and realign myself with that first. Um, but if I shoot on any other day, I'll do it like a week. A week would be a max, or maybe a couple of days. Miss Kimmy, yeah. have I don't you know ever when lost? I like, even took a break from social media. Honestly. She's the content queens. It's the girls just always. Da, da, da. No, I'm trying, but I mean, like, if yeah. I think about it, I feel like very soon I'm gonna need like a week or two. I yeah. don't know. I don't know if I could do like three weeks to a month. That is giving. It's giving. Because you lot. know what it is. What I realized is you almost get concerned about. Oh, I'm gonna have less followers. Mm. Oh my word, they're gonna. You know, mm. they're gonna. And I'm like, but what is the things that really? is matters. matters to you what is the things that are important to you do you know what i mean so you always constantly flooding ourselves with what we see on social media and what people are gonna think or the followers that because fair enough yes of course we live in a world where it's about the followers it's about you know how much people you have or you can connect and kind of thing so for me it was one of those things where like i don't care you know you get mm. to that point where you're like you don't care man it's okay also those that people you're connecting with on a different level you're not yeah. really actually honestly connecting with them like one-on-one personal time like the connection with that people isn't really i don't want to say not valuable because if you were mm. influencer if you were digital content creator it's obviously valuable the, the relationship you create with the people yeah. online mm. but ultimately i think if we're talking mental health and all of those types of things then the personal connections are what's more important at yes. certain times because that's your reality share something mm. Mm. alike or whatever the case and it's be. easy to confuse it too because sometimes you get so consumed with being online especially as a creator or mm. as someone who's in the public space where you want to share every part of your journey with the people online but mm. it's also okay to like take a step back mm. I think I did a social media detox over December time because I was struggling with that I was struggling mm. to be present in the real world yeah. every you know time every time it's like uh, 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 yeah. it's a phone and I'm living through the camera and while I love taking every everyone on the journey with me mm. it was also i missed this yeah. i missed the connection of just speaking but to someone not with yeah. the moment. I'm, I'm you're not in the moment the yeah i'm you smiling know. nana and, and 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 i spoke to someone and um my partner was there and they were like oh you're still together i said yes we are he's like oh i didn't see you post <laughs> then he backstep in his own trace and he was like Yeah, you don't have to post everything. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you know. So, so it was that. It was funny to me, and I just needed to share it because as that thing, we always feel the need to share, share to almost mm. like let the people know, update them. Listen, yeah, we mm. still, yeah. But also, day, some people on online, yeah. they feel like they deserve that. Yeah. They feel like they have the right, the right to. to. <laughs> Because you know, you were then sharing everything. Now, do you not not want to share? Are they now invested in the story? Look at that. Think about, think about from also a, a, a follower. You know yes. what I mean? You also, you. Yeah. I also feel like, yeah. Because now don't you post? Now you go down and down and go checking. <laughs> Then That's you find that. Then you find yourself in 2008. Oh, but this is before <laughs> everything started. Like, what is? Where's the? Where's where everything? Where are we going? Where are we where going? Are we yeah. going? No, I love that. I love that you guys also prioritize that, like your your mental health in the space, because you have such a big following, both of you, you know, individually, but also yeah. as a heart squad. You have a lot of youngsters looking up to you and being like, oh my word, you mm. know, I want to do what they do. I want to be on because you guys are always on. This is this is on right now. Yeah. yeah. When <laughs> even when you're not on, you're always <laughs> on. You're always cool. hyped. You're always you know in a good mood but there's also a time where you also just need to recharge and reset oh, and yes. get as away. you know in the office as you know yeah, in the no, office i'm just like sometimes yes. i hope people do know or they will figure out that we are like normal people <laughs> we do <laughs> define normal when i say normal i mean like we can't always be up there so there is days maybe we're walking in the office and our energy is in here while we're walking And mm. then people will be like, "Are oh, you guys okay? What's wrong?" What? Then I'm like, "You all must Let's be talk. here, flying with the walls <laughs> and acting crazy like always." But so it's like we need to mm. sometimes find our balance because no. I don't think it's normal to be I, there yeah. up in the sky. I think they always we created almost this, this expectation. I mean, we've mm. been working it out for over five years, so it's almost like this expectation that we've created with them of like, "Oh, the hearts are always the end." It's the vibe merchants, <laughs> yeah, vibe, 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 vibe. The- But at some point, we need to refill, you mm. know, ourselves to give vibes again. So that's what it's about. And 
and you're also evolving. I think you're also in different seasons of your life mm. right now. You know what I mean? Where you've you'll always be that person. You'll always yeah. be the high person. You'll yeah. always be the person that brings the vibe. But also as you get older, that does tone, tone down a little, little bit. bit. It does. Not to say that you're changing, mm. but mm. you're just becoming okay, cool. You know, it does. I'm going to keep like my. There's a time and a place. So everything it doesn't have to always. Yes. Always. Yes. I don't know. I, always. Because yeah, I think even even given the fact that like you're saying, like how does our personal lives. And what we do and our professional lives, how does that come together? So even like if Kim is a low, I'm a low, it's like we balance each, each other, other out, out as well. Because mm. at the end of the day, we have a goal and we need to do it. We need, have a job, we need to do it, you mm. know? So if she's low, I'm high. If I'm low, she's high. So that's, that's the dynamic you're looking at. This is and then work. Of chemistry. Love work husband work <laughs> wife goals right here you also mentioned mm. that you guys have been doing this for five years yes. and something that also just came onto my for you page you wouldn't know about I this so know. maybe i should get Please. into the tea about this so kenny uh, rowley i'm here i'm here for the tea <laughs> <laughs> you came for the tea you came, came, came for the tea you came to the tea you came to i'm sip and enjoy there's some that we have to do off air because there's some things that we just like cannot speak about on here but there's also stuff that we can speak about i'm going to speak about kelly rowland um on friday she was supposed to co-host uh, the Today Show mm. and I mean you've love been her. in the industry for a while yeah. now yes we love Kelly I mean everyone loves Kelly she comes on set um, they've obviously signed a deal already for her to co-host this mm. she sees a dressing room and she's like this is not on par though like yo this is not what I'm promised you mm. do you know I don't think she ever said do you know who I am but at yeah. a certain level do you know who I am Mm. At a certain level in the industry, you can't be settling anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially as a female in this industry, you've worked so hard to make a name for yourself and then you're going to be approached with this. Now, mm. some people online are saying this, girl, don't forget your roots. Don't forget where you started off. But also <laughs> she's put in the hours. The work, yes. And then I think on, on, on her side also, she then allegedly saw uh-huh. what J-Lo's... Um, Dressing, room, dressing looked like. room looked like and she's like yo this girl's coming in for a young segment i'm co-hosting mm. and this is the level of respect that you're giving me so mm. what are your thoughts on that you know i think mm. i think kelly rowland is done being second base mm. i mean if you, you, you she was you know you know what i mean she was now <laughs> say beyonce, what it is yes. she was now the beyonce was the lead girl and she was like i'm gonna say second mm. base you know what i mean so i think she's also just taking up a space which is which she right? rightfully she so should, should do yes and i think um I think it was a bit shady for them to give like J-Lo like the best. I look, I don't know. Love J-Lo. Yeah. And Kelly. <laughs> love <laughs> them. Like... Love them. But like given off what you're saying, right? Um, and I'm like, no man, I don't sound like Kelly. It doesn't sound I like Kelly. I don't Kelly, sound though. like mm. Kelly. It doesn't. doesn't. It sounds like J-Lo. Mm, that's it sounds Kelly. like a, love them both. Love but you feel both. like J-Lo would be like, yo, yes, no, I let me see. Come and yeah. tell you why. Come and tell you why. You know, before I now took the break, right? And um, I always look at social media and like, you know, this information pops up and you'll be like, oh, this one was so again, this one was so and whatnot. I know what you so, mean. So, so my thing is, oh. the, 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 the storyline, the backline of, of, of Kelly hasn't been much like in the public of her being a diva or mm. her being like that or her being like that. Mm. But the other female artists, actors, whatever, you see it in the publicity, right? So I don't believe that, that Kelly would just say up and leave. Especially after you sign a contract. Well, she definitely uh, did up and leave. leave. She did leave. That but was, maybe not for that reason, man. I I think maybe I... This is what I told... I was telling everyone. I was telling Lunga last week as well on the podcast. I think there's going to be a change in the industry where people's not settling anymore. Mm. We saw Cat Williams at the beginning of the year talk yes. out about the industry. We're seeing, you know... Yes. So many yes. artists and industry people on the forefront saying, you know what... Yes. To hell with. Like we don't excited, want to be. Yes. I get excited because now <laughs> yeah. we are seeing what Hollywood, what the fame is, what the yes. s- industry is all about. Yes. about. You know what yes. I mean? Um, to Roger P. Henson also yeah. coming out yes. about you know. Uh, Miss Oprah. Yes. Miss yes. Oprah, 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 the equal Oprah, rights. Oprah, yes. Monique also speaking out about it. The, these are things that's been happening for a long time, and mm. people just saying like, no, it's not okay. And like, I don't, yeah. don't make fuss and flays because this yeah. is exactly what they did. You I know, think, yeah. this goes back to the today and their people. It's about why, why are we doing this? Why are we putting women up against it's one another? Yeah. Why are we not giving everyone fair opportunities? Whether I've done twenty years or five years in the industry or mm. ten years, if my rate card or if my what do you call this my retainer whatever says yo give me space give me a dressing Mm. room and then i'm seeing someone that is not even hosting Hosting the show show. or co-hosting the show Mm. getting a big no let's just say 2024 is more Mm. and we want more of the truth more of the authenticity more more of what i'm 
owned mm. what i what i what i what my worth is mm. you know and that's i think that's what we're seeing i think i'm just backing up on what you're saying because since that whole thing of the beginning of the year i feel like no man you know yes lessons has been learned yeah. you know in 2023 now it's 2024 and it's more mm. you know more of and i think kelly rightfully so was she just wanted something she wanted more than yes. her name i yes. think at the end of the day my job damn man please give me my respect I'm going so I'm waiting up. Kelly could you please let us know what your reason was Kaylee cause you know sometimes the, 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 Kaylee <laughs> you know the media could also small things man For they sure. could also flip things around and you just don't know the truth hmm. until that person speaks so says the girl speak out but there's always going to be a good there's always going to be you know one side another yeah. side and the truth always truth yeah. so always we don't know two there's two. always three sides no, not two. no it's three it's your side matter in the truth Uh, okay. Mm. The truth is that we're also going to have a game today. Oh. It's the first one, um as you can see. We have a mock. We have the <laughs> mock jug <laughs> for the tea. <laughs> <laughs> And the, the mock might be sour. And, uh, <laughs> it might be some sour mock. It might oh, be yeah. almond Amazi. milk. Yeah. It might be a mazi. Yes. But you have to answer this truthfully. Oh. You it it's not as spicy. Okay. But you just need to get into it. L- okay. Let me know. Uh mm. K- 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 Kim was already <laughs> saying I'm not drinking anything. I'm not saying anything. I was going to actually do a oh, no. phone roulette with you and check yeah. what's happening in the DMs, but I thought you know, you both I of you all know. taken. So mm. let's I mean, just mm. 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 Okay. Mm. So nice. No, you can. Same. Dylan, I You're feel fine. like because you've been very vocal. Um, Have I ever been? You yes. can go. Yes, you've been very vocal. This so you can let's just be anything social media related because then I know nothing. All right, how is this key serving me? Ooh. Ooh. Have you had a situation before? <laughs> is it is it is it, is it for me? Yes, it's a real yes. answer. Have you had a situation before? So if you don't know what a situation is, it's basically that. Mm. <laughs> basically a situation. So you, there's no title. Yes. There's no commitment so so i think, I think. so it's like know, let's be yeah, nothing because nothing lasts I forever uh. no, 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 no. listen here <laughs> <laughs> so i i had a, i have one now i have one now so a couple of years you have ago, one now no no okay. no no okay. no i think he had a few yeah. just that didn't i didn't know, have a few you didn't know the definition of yes. what situation so be. so so <clears throat> yeah no i don't know so, is it a situation i don't know um so <clears throat> What do you what do you want to tell? No, no, no. I was on Tinder, man. No. Are you telling me the story you told me the other day? Yeah, no, I don't know what story I told you. Get that into my stories, man. About the dream that was just saying don't give free me because there was a guy walking in the street. Oh, no, not that one. I, I feel like we need a lot for you to unpack because now you there's so many to do to do. <laughs> okay, so you know, so a couple of years ago, you try Tinder, you try Grinder, Grinder, whatever, and um, do Tinder, and then you know, from Tinder it goes to WhatsApp. But I didn't realize when you go to WhatsApp, it just Dice. doesn't materialize. Yes. Oh. So then, um, chatting to this guy, and I'm like, okay, yo man, potential wise, love it. He's like, no, we can, you know, we can meet up and all that stuff. Okay, the time we must meet up. I messaged him like, hey, what's up? Are we good? Can we add? Didn't respond. Didn't respond. Um, and then a week later, he messaged me. He's like, hey, how are you? I was like, no, I'm good. I'm fine. And I'm like, are we not going to talk about what just happened now? I'm like, okay, cool. Then um, I'm like, hey, can we meet up again in the week and whatnot? Um, he's like, no, man, sorry. I'm, I'm with someone. I said, Wait, 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 but because you know me, I'm, I, I leave with my heart, man, right? And I wear my heart to my sleeve. So it's like, for me, I fall easily, man, easily. right? So you took nice, jet nice liquor, and then you have someone. From like, when we just a week ago, we were, we were talking so nicely and we were vibing and we were going to talk about it, we were going to meet up and whatnot. Okay, all good. But then let me tell you again. So then that same guy moves on his life, all good. A couple of years later now, right? Now that I'm in a relationship. Now that it's the like, skin is glowing, yeah, now that yes, the hair you know, is popping. Good. No, now it's like, um, listen, we must, we must meet up, do a couple date. I was What? like, wait. You want to go on a double date? Well, they go on a double date. I was like, listen here, listen here. No, thank you. I'm busy. Some people are wilder. Yes. I'm so, so sorry that you had to go through that. You don't deserve that. You know what I mean? Aww. So you see, as much as I break, my heart also breaks. 
But he, he had to go through that. Yeah, to go one hundred percent because now you're writing um, singles over <laughs> your new man. <laughs> Can we Healthy get in love, there? honey. Hello. <laughs> thank you for sharing your situation. No, you don't leave me hanging. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> don't leave so me hanging. Don't leave. Ooh, give me. <laughs> oh, this is tall. Which social media app do you use the most? I'm gonna say TikTok. I spend most of my time on TikTok. Mm. And I just find it more fun. It's more chill, man. Like I feel like on Instagram, it has to be more put together. Mm. And I feel mm. like we can just live life on TikTok, and it's chill. It's not. There's no pressure on TikTok. Oh yeah. And people are more funny, man. It's mm. just more real. It's and your followers just grow better there. It grows easier there. So you're TikTok galley. Yeah, I'm mm. a TikTok, TikTok galley. Mm. I think the the, the the difference between is like the authenticity. Of people, uh, oh, yeah, it's just more open. With your rollers, they yeah, also doing that. Yeah, why not smoke us in and gown and it feels like a home movie, like a community. It's relatable, like yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It's not as curated me. as mm. I, I get you, I get you, I get you. Mm. Let's see yours. Mm. I almost feel like why did I just. <laughs> <laughs> just Ooh, us, yes. If you weren't in your current role, what job would you like to be in? Ooh. I am manifesting there. Okay. <laughs> I want to be a rich stay-at-home CEO wife. Like I this is it. it's, mm. it's un- we have to put it out in the universe. I just want to be that mom that wakes up to do Pilates and takes yes. a child for school run, but I st- have my business and mm. I'm yes. Just, so not technically a st- it's just St- like you don't go you don't have a nine to five. I don't have yes. a nine to five. No, yes. you know, which you don't. No, you which, don't. I, which you don't have right like, now. I have a nine saying. to nine right like, now. Like you're always on. You're always I just working. Be home. <laughs> I just want to be home and like, like I my check, check my emails when I need you. And yeah. Oh, oh hey, Kathy, like, can you just check my emails for me right now? <laughs> like what's happening in my world? Yes. You know that kind of thing. I don't want to. Not I don't want to work hard. That sounds wrong. You should work hard, kids. You know please what? work hard. <laughs> But in my next role, mm. in my next season of my life, yeah. I just want to be at peace. And I believe it for you. You can. I see, yeah, I see it for you. I know you're gonna get there because <laughs> from the time that I've that I've come to know you, you have you have done everything you set out to do. Mm. So okay. I'm like, what? What is this? What is what's stopping you what? to do this? So the thing stopping you right, right now is she needs the man. <laughs> I need the man and she the money. Needs the man <laughs> with the man. Uh, no, no, it's not the man. Not you will see you will see oh, oh you want to own company. your own ah uh, yes you want to be a stay at home stay at home CEO mom, mom wife, wife all of it that's what I'm saying so, she's mm. not I still don't need the mans but um, I'm going to be my own rich person that, mm. that's chilling, that, chilling at home oh hell no, so the no. no but not the mans that's saying yeah this is what I got you you know what I mean it's more like let's see what you come with I come with yeah we are together okay you have another one the deeper we go it might be oh Ooh, who's your celebrity crush? Ooh, you're the lord. Local and international. You're local. Your local just Shoo. sounds so rude. Shoo, my dear. <laughs> so close to home. Like, <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> it can be at work also if you want. I'm like, just <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> if you work. have, I don't know. Okay. Um. <laughs> It's Alex movie. It's Alex. It's, it's Alex. 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 <laughs> it's Alex. It's Alex. Alex movie. <laughs> um, and let's go with with um, what you call it, celebrity first. Oh, oh. Mm. Just pick one minute. It's a lot. Chris lost. Brown, very good. I think even 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 um um, you will probably come on this one. Space. But Bruno Mars. Hmm. Bruno Mars. He's, Interesting. He's, 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 He's so cute, man. You know his personality, Out of his looks, his style. All the men in this entire world, ne? Um, I'm just asking. Yes, yes, rude. Yes, this is we are talking about like, bro. Ne? No, just like the size of. There's, um, I don't know. Not giving. How many? You already picked the lady. Like artists. Yeah, like, like, you know when it, you just. Oh, There's no so God. many beautiful men in this world that you just they don't know who to choose. You just know what I mean? Bruno. Bruno. But he was, he was first in our mind. There's nothing wrong. Okay. But your, your expression says I'm a different just, part of oh, I'm just asking <laughs> if that, out of all <laughs> yeah, that would, If you were in this million, room right now, you feel it. <laughs> men. Okay. Right, okay. Um, oh, you said more. Oh, and you said international and local. Yes. Yeah. So who's your local? So my local would have to be, what's his name? Rao. Who's Rao? Rao, no, Round the money. The money. It's a nice boy. Do you know Major the funniest boy. thing to me when people say that, and I don't know why, I always laugh, and I forget sometimes how hot you and all my guy friends mm. are, because people be like, "Oh my word, Dylan's so hot," and I'm like, 
Dylan, he's hot, but I yeah. work with him. And the same with Raul. Yeah. I'm like, Raul's for Sid. <laughs> like, Raul is the person, but I get I it. Think, I think it's also his personality. Yeah. Like, I know him also. So it's also that, that sort of like connection, the relatability that you sort of get. Right? It's got nothing to do with the yes. APAC and... No, 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 body features, <laughs> okay. And then he's also, also, now I have to say this, my everyday crush is my man's. Okay, oh, yes. Sorry, I had to put it in there. Because otherwise it was in the gate. It's just a rabble. He's just covering his back. Because it's too close to her. Ooh, very close. Very close to her. What was your first job? Okay, Ooh. so when I was in my final year at university, I was studying um, tourism and a lot of things. Mm. So I started working at um, STA Travel. So that was my first job. And then the day I signed permanent, I asked them, can they just cancel that contract because then I started here. Wait, wait, was that really your first job? Yes. Oh. I As in ever. Ever. So I did that for a couple of months and then yeah. I started here. Yeah, so I'm blessed to you. I, I always tell you guys, I'm the Lord's favorite. You, you are the Lord. You didn't do no shady, nothing. No, I didn't, I didn't work in a store. Not no shame in all of that stuff. For but sure. Like, I, yeah, because right here next week. <laughs> Same. But I mean, like, if, if I hear everyone's stories, like, I literally started working in travel, got to do crazy, like, fun things in the city, shark age diving, mm. all those cool stuff. And then this opportunity came, the hot squad opportunity came, and I told them, it's fine, keep your permanent contract. Mm. And you did and I, I, nothing. I, I regret nothing. Lovely, lovely, and lovely. then you obviously went on from Hard Squad to now have your own yeah, show so. as well, presenters, and you do modeling and so much more. And yeah. this is actually why I wanted to speak with you as well, because sometimes, you know, a lot of people don't know that about you. You guys have mm. so many other things besides just being on air, just being the hype squad. You do modeling, you... Uh, acting. You and your yes, acting yes. I, did, right I just did my Artscape debut, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, it was called Legally Blonde. We just finished yesterday, but unfortunately, I couldn't do the the last stitch leg of it, a stitch of it, because I was dealing with um, um, a family thing, and yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. I'm not even gonna answer anymore because I feel like we got all the tea from the two of you. Yes, but I just yes. wanted to. Here's the thing with this yes. podcast. It's also a space where I want people to to hear what we have to say and also yeah. to share and use this platform to share and help other people you know who's coming up in the industry because often I feel like it was sugar-coated to me about you know the industry mm. um, we have this perception of what it's going to be it's the glitz of the glam and maybe I'm to blame too because we, we share that online we share the mm. good and we, don't, and we don't, don't always get vulnerable and we don't always share that looking yeah. back now in, at, at your career and if there's a advice that you guys have individually for someone who's starting or who's maybe feeling like I don't want to do this anymore because mm. I'm not getting that big break, I'm not, mm. you know, I'm in that in that job that I hate right now. Um, they weren't as blessed as you maybe to start off in something that yeah. was crazy and exciting and fun and then le- led to where you are right now. What is that advice for anyone watching this? Yeah, I think that is <coughs> tough because I feel mm. like sometimes even we need the advice. Mm. You know, like we. Even the two of us, we're not where mm. we actually want to be within the industry. But I think everyone's journey is different. Yeah. Like Dylan's story is different to mine. Yours mm. is different to mine. And I think it's all about patience. It's all about God's timing. Because, mm. um, I mean, our seasons and our things can be very different. Um, and I think, I honestly think it's all about God's timing. Like if it's your time, there's mm. nothing anyone and no one can do yeah. to stop it. If it's your time, like it's going to happen for you. Yeah, so I think patience is very I, important. I think yeah. having an open mind in the industry is very very important because mm. i think we all like fun mm. gonna get to do this gonna get to that but we don't know that we actually have to grind on this it's not just fun in games yeah. as much as it seems like it is but it's not just it's fun a job. Games. you know i i would say we were all there where you were mm. i was once there where you were you know that that moments where you feel like oh nothing's coming right i'm not gonna get this job i'm not gonna get what i want to achieve kind of thing um, and I think do the personal work on yourself first. Mm-hmm. Really get to know who you are. I think I took long to get to know who I am. Yes, mm-hmm. been blessed within this this time that I've been working here. But I think get to know who you are first so that you are strong enough mm-hmm. for whatever comes your way. Be that strong, the, that, what's that metaphor? Strong, the, and the wind blows, you, you stay fast. You know, you're strong and you know your worth. You know what you want. You know where you're heading and your faith is is the next thing. I have faith in I think also, what you do, who you are. Sorry, I feel like a lot of people don't even know that there's many a times that Dylan and I even wanted to give up in this space. Yes. yes. 
Nice. Just because I think there was even the first time they, the like, first just started. <laughs> it was just started and I was like listen here I think I'm going to resign and I was just like well we're not even here for like a full month or two years. <laughs> you know what? and that's also giving me getting to know each other so Kim was just like okay at that point okay. I couldn't say anything we Fine. we know each other for mm-hmm. like a yeah. few weeks mm. and he was ready to leave and I was just like okay um why did you just not feel at peace or was <laughs> I think I think also because <clears throat> Do know I go a bit deeper now. The fact that I wasn't out at that time, mm. got you right. So I wasn't steadfast in who I was and who Dylan was, you know, and what Dylan actually wants and what Dylan has to say. So when this job hit, I was like, oh, lovely, well, all good. But then you're still young, you know mm. what I mean. So you you go for everything and it just becomes all a mess. And then you're like, oh no, I don't think I can do it. It all overwhelms and you're just like, so um, all like like I really. I want to say thank you to the the manager at the time that still saw my worth and still be like, oh no man, there's so much you have to go and push. So I stayed on, you know, and I'm grateful and I'm so blessed that I still carried on and I pushed through because I wouldn't mm. have been the person that I am. Yeah. How old were? I didn't. God, I, I hear you. Man. I think something God, that man. I've also learned in my journey of just being in the industry for five years is just stay hungry, like mm. always stay hungry. Um, I think mm. and just. I, I hate using this word humble, like stay humble, but mm-hmm. like really be hungry and always make sure that you you want more and that because yes. there is Cause there's gonna also, always you, be more you also come to, to that, give <laughs> to that place where you're just like chilling there, no? yeah. plateau. Yeah, you mm. just find the plateau and then you like, is this for me? Am I, you know? Mm. And I think at that point you must just if if the space you're finding yourself in is not really working, is maybe just like shift your perspective or maybe just. If if you could maybe do this mm. in order for you to still enjoy it or for you to still you know what I mean because yeah. I think uh, a lot of us especially if you're working in the industry for so long it's like you you have to sometime get to that space mm. where it's like it's not feeling monotonous but it's like I'm doing the same thing mm. yeah what else can I do to switch it up to make it better just mm, yeah because I think also <laughs> like I'm just bringing it yeah. in because I think also if you if you like people always say no you must be humble be humble to a point where humble could actually be your downfall. Because they would say like, listen here, you are worth 20k, right? And yeah, someone would say, listen here, I'm gonna give you 10. No, I'm gonna give you six. And you were just like, you know what? I'm, I must be humble. You know what I'm thinking? I must, I must be. But my I'm still a small like, fish, you know. Yes, as 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 but as it's as not. But at what? At what point you, you know, say, you know what? Line. The rate card is different. You yes. say 20, 24 is for <laughs> more. <laughs> That's all we're saying, everybody. Yeah, the T 2024 is all about more. Uh, so again. Dylan Majavi, you want to leave your handles? You want to leave your... Oh, uh, <laughs> when I go back. <laughs> <laughs> when he goes back one day. It is at Majavi underscore D on Instagram. Um, and then it's on TikTok, Majavi69 on TikTok. Why and Majavi69? Majavi. Wait, that's a D. Why, why Majavi69? What was going through your life that you had? Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the T, <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> You see, I came for the tea. But now you are the tea. Now you are the tea. <laughs> you are the whole tea, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just love the number, guys. I just love the number. I feel a lot like a lot of people it's do. Positioned well. And yeah. <laughs> it's giving. You know? It's giving. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Kimmy, can you my, tell everyone? <laughs> <laughs> my handles are very simple. It's my name, my son, and Kim Lee Shula, both on Instagram and on TikTok. Keep it simple, guys. The switch no, up. No hidden agendas. <laughs> no nothing. No <laughs> numbers. No, no, no random numbers. Just uh-uh. pushing out there. Check mm. them out on socials as well. Mm. And don't forget to follow Heart FM and the switch up. The switch up. Yes, switch up. On, on, TikTok. on Friday. Mm. Must tune in also. Yes, we go live every Friday and Saturday mm-hmm. on TikTok between half past ten and twelve. That's where you can find us. See what we're doing in studio. Mm. Are we going on dancing, living our life? How they hype the people and, up? Yeah, how they become the switch up? Energy basically on the other side. Of the screen and through radio. Yes. yes. There you go. You guys are amazing. I love you. you. Thank you so much for joining me on the tea with Jamie Lee. Of course, you can follow Heart FM um, on the YouTube channel as well as Instagram as well as TikTok. And then just follow, like, subscribe. Let us know what you want to see more of. And I'll see you next week for more tea. Bye-bye. Bye.